Hello, this is uh, Elbow. We're backstage at Wembley Arena. I'm Guy. I'm Craig. Uh, the other three lads are being lazy somewhere. Uh, if you haven't bought your ticket yet to see us at V Festival in Australia, go and buy it now. House! Uh, in the meantime, keep watching Eleanor Conway uh, presents us, Elbow. Cheers. <laughs> My next guest has uh, kind of crashed through 2008 like a volcanic eruption, a musical eruption, picking up awards, Mercury Music Award, Brit Awards, supporting Coldplay, and they're about to headline V Festivals in Australia and, of course, the UK. 2008 may have been the year of the uh, rat, but 2009 is the year of the elbow. <laughs> How are you doing, boys? All right, how are you doing? I'm not too bad, not too bad. The Mercury Awards were the, was the catalyst for a really great year for you guys. Um, I actually um, spoke to you on the red carpet. Um, this is kind of how it went. As good a chance as any. You know, they're, they're all, they're all uh, amazing artists. Um, and again, you know, it, it, it's not an honour to be nominated. That's the main thing. But it came as quite a surprise, fourth album. How, um, how did you feel after that win and how have you felt during the summer? Uh, that that win was, as I said on the night in the, in the acceptance speech, it was the best thing that's ever happened to us. And um, what's happened since is just brilliant. You know, the the nicest thing about winning the Mercury was the immense goodwill from the media. It's like usually you get half the media, <clears throat> half the media, half the media agree with the win, and there's always a lot of controversy surrounding the, who wins the Mercury Prize. And we didn't have any negativity. We didn't have anybody saying that anyone else should have won. It was just everyone seemed really pleased to us. So that, that's a very nice thing to hear, you know. Uh, yeah, so we're outside uh, Wembley Arena taking a photo of these lovely ladies about to go and see Elbow. Yeah. All right, well, my name's Eleanor. I work for Virgin. We're, um, we're actually official Elbow stalkers. We're stalking them around the world. Uh, they're going to play at V Festival in Sydney in about a week's time. We're off there as well, so we thought we'd come and stalk them at the arena. Uh, are you married or do you have a partner? I've got a partner, yeah. Okay, are you looking to get married? No. Um, Jace, would you marry your girlfriend? Girlfriend, would you marry Jace? That's legally binding. What would be your grounds for divorce? I'd have to be really pushed. Oh, it's because he's so in love with his wife. Oh. I honestly reckon stealing food off his plate, he'd probably go for it. Oh, Eating crisps and bread. Snapping my rare records in half. <laughs> See, I like this guy. He hasn't gone infidelity or leaving pants on the top. But I'm still young. 20, still only 23. In some countries, people get married at 15, eh? Come on, yeah, Chase. No, this is not on. Eight years is a long time. It is a long time. But we've known each other since we were 11, so... That's ever. even longer. <laughs> you must know her by now. That was uncomfortable, wasn't it? It was, a, it was a really, really wicked album. Again, it was it was a, an album created sort of in between two um, two record labels, wasn't it? Mm. And you um, you self produced it and played all the parts on it and all that business. Did the fact that you, you guys weren't signed at the time did that kind of um, did that free you in a, in a sense that you didn't have to kind of. You didn't have any sort of external pressures, or, or, and you, or was it quite scary? Uh, I think it was. It was. It was definitely a worry. Mm. But it must. I suppose it must have freed up as, as far as we didn't have anyone breathing down our necks. You know, commenting on the songs. It was very much our own thing from all the way from start to end. But every day we were like, well. For the first year, every day we were like, is anything, you know, ringing our manager, you know, is anything happening with these deals that are supposed to be mm. around the corner? And then we sort of gave up asking after a while, didn't we? Yeah. A couple of years later, it all came together, luckily. How long did this album take? Two and a half years. Okay. That's quite, what, were you do, what were you doing for, like, money and stuff? Like, well, what, or, or anything like that, you know? Our, our manager Phil's been with us for 14 years, I think. Yeah. 13, 14 years. Uh, and Phil's always budgeted for a rainy day. Okay. Oh, um, okay. We've never sort of just split the money up and widened the drive. We've uh, kept it all in. The coffers just ran out when we signed our new record deal. 
It, we'd, we'd just run out of money when we got the new record deal, so it, it worked perfectly. We made a conscious decision as well that none of the frustrations we were feeling about money, about the future, were going to make it onto the record, you know. But it was a conscious decision that I, I can't stand listening to rock stars whining about being rock stars. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I, it's not the kind of stuff you should put into your music, I don't think. And uh, so we didn't. It's not a hard life. I think you've mentioned before, it's not like you're going to do a nine-to-five job, is it? No, it's not. It's not being it's at not. the coalface or behind the counter at McDonald's. If you work at McDonald's in London and there's a parking meter outside, it's earning more an hour than you are. You know what I mean? I haven't had... My whole life I haven't worked as hard as them people work in one day. Lazy bastard. <laughs> you are a lazy bastard. <laughs> yeah. Profe <laughs> professional lazy bastard. <laughs> All right, so we've, uh, we've just interviewed Elbow ahead of their uh, Sydney V, UK V onslaught this summer. We're in Elbow's back passage and, and it still goes on for like a mile. We're just about to take you outside of the arena, the Wembley Arena, not the Arena of Life. Hello! Who are you collecting for? I'm collecting for the National Autistic Society. Brilliant stuff. Uh, are you fans of Elbow? Yeah, big fans. Oh, I just think they're amazing. When you listen to their album, it you, makes your skin tingle. Yeah! And the whole band themselves, they're not like... Uh, Come on. ...in it for all the shite that comes along with indie music and stuff. They're just a really honest musical band. It's a week away from V Festival Sydney. I'm excited. Are you excited? Can't wait, yeah. It's going to be great. What can the sort of Sydneyites and the, uh, the guys all around uh, at the other festivals throughout Australia expect from you? We're going to put on a, 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 our, our fun festival pants. Mm -hmm. and so perhaps a little less introspective than normal. Um, yeah, we're just going to have it for 40 minutes or however long we're playing. And the audiences in Australia are great. They're all off their heads. Yeah? Yeah. It should be wicked. Yeah, we've always gone down really well over there, so... I'm very much looking forward to it. Never done a festival over there. Yeah, we have. Have we? Yeah. We've done a festival over there. <laughs> <laughs> we went down really well. Though. All the festivals we play over there, we go down really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we're going to catch up with you at V Festival Sydney. Mm -hmm. Is there a question that you would like to ask your, um, your, any of your other bandmates in Sydney? We'll cut to that. Or do you want to ask yourselves a question in the future? All right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did the gig at Wembley Arena go? But all you're going to do is you're going to say it's great. It was great. Well, I'm not. I'll tell the truth. I'll tell me the truth. Where did I put that cigarette? I don't know. This is a cigarette that I stole from Guy Garvey's packet of fags that he left in the dressing room. Firstly, don't tell Guy, and secondly, don't tell my mum that I've started smoking again. I've given up for three months, thanks very much. How does one boogie to elbow? I never know. Probably it's flat, it? nod your head and tap your foot. In a music aficionado way? Yeah, definitely. Should we do that to fade out? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, a bit like that kind of thing, yeah. Almost like shoegazing, but without looking down. Oh, yeah, that's very, that's very <laughs> indie. All right, on that note, I'm going to sign out. This is Ellen McCoy presents Elbow here at Wembley Arena. Oh. Oh. Uh, um, <laughs> I've got to ask me a question, so I'll answer it in Sydney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.